lot of did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. So, of course, you know, you guys start out with sectioned hair. I go through, I use my shower comb, then I go through with a finer tooth comb, and then I go in with the roller. For this particular roller set, I am doing the flick of the wrist action, and you will see that in a few. And yes, I call it the flick of the wrist because it is all about the wrist action. Look at the flick at her wrist. Look at the flick at her wrist. <laughs> So again, I apply the mousse. My hair already has the leave-in in it. I go in with a um, shower comb, then a finer tooth comb to make sure all those knots and tangles are out. Then I go in with my perm rod. I make sure that my end is securely wrapped around the end of the perm rod. And then I make my way up the hair shaft and then I clip it at the roots. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty simple. Once you learn the action of the perm rod set, then it goes pretty fast. Now, when I first started doing perm rod sets, it felt like it took me forever to do my hair, but now it just goes by so fast about like this. <laughs> so yeah, a little happy dance because I'm almost done. I'm almost done and I'm almost done, you guys. I just got that top section and that is going to go by pretty, pretty quick. Okay. Okay.
So I'm done. I'm done. And I am done. I'm just giving y'all that 360 action. And then on this scene right here or this clip, I actually was going to try to sleep with these perm rods in my head, which I knew was a no-no. Um, I don't know what possessed me to do such a thing because I don't ever sleep with perm rods in my head. But I was trying to, you know, keep the style up for you guys. So I was going to go to sleep with them. Yeah, I got in bed, got ready to lay down. And yeah, it just, that, that was a no-go for me. It was a no-go and it was a no-go. So I found my phone. Uh, put it on my little tripod came into the bathroom and here we are taking out my print rods <laughs> All right, so in this clip here, I am just clipping up some of, my, some of my hair so that I can go in and separate. I try to separate where it naturally wants to separate, but if it does not naturally want to separate, then I separate it where I want to separate it. Um, just, you know, be cautious because when you separate your hair where you want to separate your hair, it does cause more frizz. So I just want to put that out there. The, if I can find a place where my hair wants to separate, then I have less frizz. Just a pro tip, you guys. Just a pro tip. So in this, so I'm just going to continue to separate my hair and... Once I am done with this part, you will see me um, fixing up my hair, fluffing it, fluffing it out, and then we will just go from there. And I can't find my pick to save my life. It's either between my son and my boyfriend. They just can't keep their hands to themselves. So I am just using a regular comb to pick my hair. <laughs> like let me go ahead and turn around i don't know how i look in the back but i'm gonna give you the 360 so we got the side then we got the back the other side and the front bam 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 <laughs> so i do want to say that my hair is very soft you guys it is shiny a lot about it always gets me right always gets me right and always gets me right okay okay <laughs> all right guys so if you have not done so go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below down below also while you're adding make sure you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time i upload a new video okay okay leave me a comment below you guys how you think my hair turned out do you like it do you not like it let me know down in the comments also give me a big thumbs up you guys give me a big thumbs up Share this video out, you guys. Sharing is caring. And until next time, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.